Welcome back to another video. I want to address this comment on my video with the semi truck, which was 3D scanned with Artec and added to Blender. I received the following comment. So, do you have experience of what is the best way to transform a 2D photo into a large interior scene with details of furniture and computers? So, the main um, output is that um, this will be used to do some animated characters within that scene. So let's take a look at what would be the best option. Now, depending on what you are starting from. So if you only have a single 2D photo, this can be a little bit trickier because based on a single photo, you could use a tool like Common Sense AI, uh, where you add a single image and you're gonna receive an output mesh. Now, if you want those to be quite detailed, it will be harder. Let me just uh, give an example over here. So, as you can see, this works great for single elements, like, uh, for example, for a chair or for a, for a bus like this. This will create decent result for the 3D mesh. But if you add a whole scene, this tool is not that great, since it will try to crop some of the elements within the background. For example, we have over here, uh, we see the Tyrion from uh, Game of Thrones. He's hiding behind um, his shield over there. And the AI tool cropped a lot from this. So much that the final model would only have, as we can see, a single leg. Also, the shield was positioned uh, also to the back. We still have that, um, that horse. So since this is based on AI, it will uh, take th those information. We see that uh, we have that uh, banner, the sigil with the horse over there. And it was recreated using a different horse, as we can see. The one on the back and the one on the front will be different. So again, for such scenes, it's a lot complicated for, um, for a tool like this to generate the whole scene. We also have over here the... Um, uh, so we see this is from the Trajan column with the Cebalus when he committed suicide. Um, and we see this is the input photo and the output mesh is just uh, a blob. Why? Because uh, the tool has problem identifying um, those details. For example, if I would use this image as a displacement map in something like Blender or, or Mudbox or ZBrush, I could obtain those uh, those 3D details directly on the mesh and uh, the mesh would look incredible but uh, we see that um, the AI tool managed just to generate uh, a blob in this case so again these tools uh, have limitations mainly the one based on AI if I will jump over here within the community showcase let's take a look um, the main problem is that Recreating entire scene is not that possible. So for example, we see over here uh, a truck and uh, instead of uh, wheels, we have uh, those feet over there. Let me just check the output mesh of this. So yeah, completely off. <laughs> this has, uh, let's say, the shape uh, of a shoe more than a truck. And uh, otherwise, it's just completely blobbish. So the tool overall is great. As we can see, for example, for this axis, this was a single element isolated um, on a white background. The output model is decent, even though different, since this is one of the features of Common Sense AI tool. We see over here um, how that end should uh, look within the reference and over here it will be completely different but overall the quality of the mesh is decent and this can be used as a prop for a, for a background now if you intend um, to use that scene to add some uh, character animations now this is the problem if you only have a single photo the best solution would be just to use that reference and um, start creating that office. For example, you can use Blender with Blender Kit. They are both, um, both free, so you can use the free version. 
you can start dragging various um, office assets like chairs, um, tables, and so on. Some of the models will be for the paid version, but you can make use of the, the one over here, which are free. So we can add some desks. This is an old desk, so keep in mind that you should also go for the same style. But the main advantage using Blender Kit is that all the models will be at the correct uh, size. So we see all those chairs in comparison to the 2 meter cube from Blender. We're gonna check those dimensions. We're gonna see that they are all um, to scale. So you can use a wide variety of free assets. There are other, um, let's say, websites where you can find some additional models. And this would be the best solution. You can also start um, creating, let's say, the, um, the environment. You can start with a plane. You can uh, extrude those, um, let's say, walls. In this case, you can add, um, you can add solidify to that, and you can slowly, slowly start and uh, reposition a 3D scene, your assets within the scene, so that you can reconstruct that. I think this would be the best solution if you only have a single photo as a reference. Now, let's take a look at what can be done if you have additional uh, images as, uh, as references. You can try to use Instant Nerf. So we can find this uh, on the NVIDIA. There will be also a link uh, on uh, GitHub regarding this. But again, this will require more photos as we can see over here for this uh, wooden bridge uh, so we need around uh, 50 to 150 overlapping image and uh, we can obtain a pretty decent model of that we see over here the input images and the final output so this is not that accurate in terms of quality but um, you can get some pretty decent um, models if you are using a lot of uh, photos so let's take a look at uh, some of uh, the aspects present over here within the video and uh, you can see that you will have that uh, mesh defined so using nerves it will generate um, a good mesh but you can also use traditional photogrammetry and in some cases that uh, that is just better and there are some free solutions like uh, mesh room or you can use um, reality capture and, and so on. So some of them will have also the paid version or uh, for example, Recap from Autodesk has an um, educational version if you are uh, a student. Otherwise you will need to use the pro version. And you can use that to obtain, but uh, for your case study, I think it's it will be faster to just uh, use that and uh, start uh, designing your own scene using some free assets. Let me just um, show you this. So, for example, over here we have an example for instant nerve. So, as we can see, those are the four images, and afterwards we can have that uh, that character recreated in three D. So. For accurate um, elements such as um, hair and so on, if you want within your scene, nerves will be better than photogrammetry. For photogrammetry, usually hair is problematic and that is just added further along. But if your scene will only have uh, detailed furniture and computers, again, the best solution would be to use uh, and create a 3D scene. Okay, so I hope that you find this uh, this video useful. Um, I will position a similar video over here on the left. I will add the AI um, videos that I created over here within a playlist and I will also put a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.